Okay, enough of the clown shit. Let's go, man. All right, this is your boy Solo Mission. Of course, my videos are uncut, unbiased, unedited, unfiltered. They may hurt your eardrum, but again, it's my opinion, free speech. So let's just go ahead and sit my ass up, if you will. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. And uh, let's go ahead and turn the hat to the back and just go get back on this pimping shit. Now, um, in my previous videos, I was trying to, you know, understand the beta male side of point of view and how society plays its part in this shit. I briefly addressed the nightclub theory along with other theories out there that I just don't have time to touch on because I know a lot of people get into this me tile movement and it, it don't matter what time you, I don't know what I say time, but really what stage of life you get into this shit. You, you should have a, just certain qualities about you, you being a man should already be instilled before you try to call yourself getting hooked on this me tile shit. I mean, if you're a beta male and you, and cause I know some and Every time I think about this shit, I just get depressed that it, how the dudes that I knew sit there and let a female just totally disrespect him. Female come over, come over his crib, plays with her motherfucking pussy on his sofa, and don't get that nigga none. And he and and that's cool. This nigga sitting here doing shit for her motherfucking kids, plural. That ain't even his kids. And she don't even appreciate that shit. But see, when you when you start simping with these females, these females gonna see that shit and they're gonna recognize oh, he a weak ass nigga. They're gonna tell their homegirls. Or their inner voice in their motherfucking head. I'm trying to change my voice. Girl, he just a weak ass nigga, girl. I can just I can do whatever with him, girl. Ass nigga. Cause that's how they gonna look at your motherfucking ass. They just sit there and gospel with their girls. Cause women Put niggas in categories, or if you're not African American and you're not urban, they put dudes in categories, and they pick and choose what the fuck your purpose in their life is for. So that's what the fucking alpha male does. Like I said in a previous video, I look at a female resume, and I don't mean resume as far as a job, because I'm not gonna go there, nigga, because most of the females I know ain't got now ass nigga. You know, the government is taking care of every motherfucking thing, ass nigga. Food stamps, little government check, discount, them. you know what I mean, right? Real niggas watching this video know what the fuck I mean. they like, nigga, shut the fuck up, because we already know what you're talking about, nigga. Them government good red assholes, right? So let's move forward. When I look at a bitch resume, nigga, I look at what the bitch can bring me. From her baggage, most of the females I meet are already broken hearted, already don't hit the wall. So they still got this high pergamous nature, thinking that they can find some nigga of high status, high value. They that's the funny thing, but that's that's a woman though. Once you understand a woman, and like some of these pimp ass niggas be saying that women are eighty percent uh emotional, twenty percent logical. I want to say more than that, cause I ain't enough didn't have these bitches don't understand what the fuck they doing. That's why they have unprotected sex. No one can wear HIV and AIDS is real, but yet they still have unprotected sex though. Ain't that a motherfucker? So I'm trying to figure out what is that 20% logical. When the fuck do that shit kick in? But I digress, ass nigga. So let's move forward. Alright? But nigga, I'm trying to figure out though. When I see a woman that has nothing to offer me besides her motherfucking pussy between her legs, yet her hypergamous nature. And her narcissisticness shit that she got going on. Have her thinking that A, I'm all that in a bag of chips. And B, I must upgrade to a high class nigga or guy because I'm the such woman. Now, how the fuck do she come up with that equation when she living in the motherfucking hood? Now, again, I don't judge where the fuck a female come from. Like, I don't give no fucks. Because it's not in me as a man to judge a woman. And it's, 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 it's me as a man to lead a woman to where I need her to go. That's it. Meet this woman, small talk, get to know her, read her resume, read between the lines all the bullshit that she's telling me, and then decide do I want to A, entertain this stupid shit, or B, move the fuck on. 
It's either or. Like the windshield wiper shit. When it's raining, nigga, vroom, 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 ass nigga. Now, I said that shit so it'll remain in your brain because I need that shit to resonate. That's pimp shit. All right? When I had to size women up, that's what I'm looking for. What can she offer me versus the bullshit she going to cost me? That's it. Let me say it again. What the fuck she going to offer me versus the bullshit she going to cost me? All right, nigga? That's pimp shit. Get that shit written down. Rewind the motherfucking video and listen to that shit. For all the niggas that's laying down with the motherfucking earpiece in your motherfucking ear and you listen to my shit late night, that was pimp shit. You like that shit, don't you? I feel you, nigga. I feel you, nigga. That's pimp shit. I'm trying to educate you niggas, but free, nigga. Don't, you ain't got to donate me. I don't need your goddamn money, man. I just need you to soak the motherfucking game up. Because being a true pimp-ass nigga don't mean you got multiple baby mamas. It don't mean you got a baby mama, period-ass nigga. That's not what a pimp does, nigga. A pimp don't get bitches pregnant. Fuck out of here. No, nigga. We pimp bitches. We fuck bitches. We get money from bitches, nigga. We entertain bitches. That's what we do. That's it. I right, nigga. We let the simp ass nigga sit here and goddamn ruin these females lives and shit. And, and, and thus theirs. Because they don't know how to be up front with a woman and tell her exactly what the fuck they want. I'm that Mr. Good Bar ass nigga. When I meet a female, she already know what it is. If you ain't doing freaky videos and, and sucking that fucking bitch, don't hit me up. Because that's what I do. I'm getting that best out your motherfucking ass. I'm not your boyfriend. You get him that old good girl, school girl ass sex. No, bitch. Uh-uh. I'm getting that best up out your ass. All that little freaky. I like girls. I like to watch pornos. I like to suck dick, dick backwards, upside down. That's the shit I do from the hoes. While her boyfriend get the little basic ass, kindergarten ass type ass sex. Ass, nigga hunching and shit with clothes on ass nigga. Fuck out of here. Alright, nigga. Time check. But my thing is, when you trying to be an alpha male, and it's hard to say trying to be when it's not in you. Something, And I understand when these pimp ass niggas be on this YouTube shit and they be like, nigga, it, this pimp shit gotta be in you, nigga. And I feel what they be saying. It's like, yes, nigga. You just can't... You, you see, cause see, y'all niggas is afraid of losing a bitch. That's why y'all text a bitch all day. I just want to make sure you got home safe. Did you get home safe? Did you get my text? Good night. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Face ass nigga. Just like my nigga Corey Wayne say that's on his YouTube. Google Corey Wayne on his motherfucker. Look cool white guy. Texting is for setting motherfucking dates. That's it. Hang out. Have fun, hook up, and and I'm going to add a little comma and fuck. I, you, that's right. Hang out, have fun, hook up, comma, and fuck. That's right. I mean, he say hang out, have fun, and hook up, but I'm, I'm adding the and fuck. Because if you don't fuck, now she going to friend zone your punk ass. Because you ain't made no motherfucking move. You just sitting there being an emotional tampon. A mangina ass nigga. Extra simp ass nigga. <laughs> then you niggas wonder why you get friends on and shit. Cause you you afraid to have a difference of opinion with a bitch. If a bitch say she fine, you alright? <laughs> I mean you you alright? You ain't you ain't you ain't, ain't highly very but you alright. I mean that's why I tell a bitch with a smile on my face, cause with with a smile on my face it's received well. It hits the emotional part of her brain than the logical part. So now she got to sit here and show me that she motherfucking Halle Berry. Which is comical. If you ever see a female that actually try to um, get approval from you. In your motherfucking face. That's the funniest shit ever, ass nigga. Now only pimp niggas know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because females will literally try to prove themselves while you sitting there having a conversation with your ass. This shit is funny. Hilarious. Time check. But for you beta male, wheat male, blue pill, you got a couple of kids, you, you live in society version of life, you know, you, you met a female, you know, the love of your life, 
whatever the fuck that mean. You got a couple of kids. You know, you got the little dog, the cat, the picket fence. You know, you got the little house and shit. Little cute ass mailbox, ass nigga. But you, you miserable. Because you're not getting the sex that you want. You, you don't have a, well, strike that. I'll finish say you don't have a freak, but strike that. That's a lie. You got the freak. You just ain't about to freak out the motherfucking woman that you married. But I guarantee you, it's a Mr. Goodbar ass nigga that's hitting that motherfucker on the side. So while you cheating on your wife, she damn sure cheating on your ass. All right? Please believe it. And he's getting the, the, the best shit out of your wife. All right? Let me, let me put this in a little technical aspect for all you techies out there that love TVs and shit. All right, she giving the Mr. Goodbar that 8K high definition sex. You know what I'm saying? You getting the motherfucking 1080p weak ass TV version. 720p progress the scanned ass nigga. <laughs> this nigga getting the 8K ultra high definition shit. All right? And you getting that weak ass 720p 1080i sex for all you techie ass niggas out there. Love 4K and shit. All right? But look. I'm trying to keep it real, though, on that pimp level, man. A man must be a man first and foremost when you meet a woman. A man must never get excited to meet a woman. Never. A woman is never finer ass nigga. Ever. See, a lot of y'all niggas fuck up and you telling the woman, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, my God, you just um, immaculate. you the woman of my dreams. She already got your ass. Now you don't told her everything that she wanted to hear. And now she can pick and choose who she wants your ass. Because she, she know you ain't going nowhere because you just told her how beautiful and immaculate she was. So now she ain't got no reason to challenge or chase your ass. Because she know you ain't going nowhere. That's why women love the bad boys. Because the bad boys look at her ass like, yeah, you all right? How you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, you work there? Oh, okay. You got a couple of master degrees? Oh, okay, that's nice. How your love life is? Oh, you single? Well, go figure. What you mean, go figure? Well, I mean, a typ most typical women that got professional careers are single, thus lonely at night. And she either going to roll her eyes or smile or get a little attitude. Who gives a fuck? But either one of those outcomes, you should know the next shit to say to that motherfucker. Now, beta males is, is sitting here glued because they hoping I finish that motherfucking scenario out. But you should know what to do. All right? That's pimp shit. But see, real alpha males know how to break a female down. Break her ass down. I don't give a fuck about your Harvard degree. I'm going to congratulate you. you. You did great, baby. I'm glad you went to school. You got a hard degree. You a anesthesiologist or some fancy ass shit. You speak all extra proper English all the damn time. Great. Until I get some alcohol in the ass and she, then she ghetto all of a sudden. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? Real niggas know what I mean, right? Right. But let's move on. You feel me? But I meet women of all race. So it's not a black and, and white thing with me. I don't care when I see fem females dating outside their race. I don't give a fuck about that. Because as a grown ass man, I know what the fuck I stand for and what the fuck I'm not going to fall for. What the fuck I'm going to entertain and what the fuck I'm not going to waste my time for. My lifestyle is about enjoying life until the day I fucking die. That's it. I'm not living society version of the, the dog, the cat, the picket fence, the nice house. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want that bullshit. No, nigga. I don't need society version. I want my own motherfucking life, nigga. I'm on that motherfucking Hugh Hefner playboy shit. Plenty of women fucking and they know about each other shit. No jealousy shit is what I'm on. That alpha male shit. Bitch, here's the motherfucking shit. Take it or leave it shit. At least I told you the motherfucking truth. I'm not going to beat around the bush with your ass. Because I give no fucks. Because you can turn that shit down, but bitch, I got 24 motherfucking women that's goddamn available to everyone. It's, like I said, it's 25, 25 women for every one man. So if one female turn you down, nigga, you got 24 more, nigga. <laughs> All right? And if you date outside your race and learn different languages, you got even more, nigga. You feel me? Time check. Man, look. To all you beta males and players out there, man. 
look, let, for it, let's get ready for this new year, all right? No matter what year you watch this motherfucking video, get your motherfucking player on, all right, man? I'm out of here, man. Peace, man.